Hello everyone, welcome to my online class. I am Mr. Ray, your grade 7 math teacher. Before we start, I want you to have your copybook, textbook, and your pen. So today I'm going to discuss about lesson 8-9, solve problems involving volume. Here are the objectives of the lesson. You will be able to calculate the volume of various three-dimensional figures composed of prism and solve problems involving the volume of three-dimensional figures. So, let's define first what is a volume. So, when we say volume, this is the amount of space within a three-dimensional figure. Here is it. Let's do example one. Finding volumes of prism. Cora has an aquarium with exotic fish. The tongue is the size and shape of a trapezoidal prism. The distance from the front glass to the pack is 2 feet. What is the volume of the aquarium tank? To solve the problem, we need to identify first what is the shape of the base. And since the tank is in the size and shape of a trapezoidal prism, the base of the prism is trapezoid. Step 2. We will now find for the area of the base and since the tank is in the size and shape of trapezoidal prism, the base of course is the trapezoid and we're going to use the formula in finding the area of the trapezoid. And this is area is equal to 1 half times the sum of the two bases times the height. Base 1 is 3 feet, base 2 is 6 feet, and the height of the base is 2 feet. Now we will add 3 and 6, and that is equal to 9. Alright, in this part, we have different ways in simplifying the expression. We can have, we can use the GCF, we can cancel out the GCF too, of course, what is left is 9 or we can multiply 9 and 2 that is equal to 18 divided by 2 we will still get 9 but please don't forget to include the unit of measurement in square feet all right so we have now the area of the base which is 9 square feet so we can now move on to step 3 and that is finding the volume of a trapezoidal prism we will use this formula Volume is equal to the area of the base times the height of the prism. The area of the base is 9 square feet and the height of the prism is 5 feet. Of course, we will multiply 9 and 5 and this is equal to 45. And we should not forget to write the unit of measurement in cubic units so we will have cubic feet. So we have 45 cubic feet. Let's try this all together. What is the volume of the triangular prism? Take note that the base of a triangular prism is a triangle. The side length of the base is 8 cm and the height is 6 cm. We will use the formula for the volume of a prism which is equal to the area of the base times the height. The base is a triangle. We will use the formula A is equal to 1 half base times height. The base of a triangle is 8 centimeters and the height is 6 centimeters. Then we will multiply them. We will get 48 and divided by 2, this would be equal to 24. Then, multiplied by the height of the prism, which is 14 centimeters, Then we have 300 
36 cubic centimeters. This is now the volume of a triangular prism. Let's do example two. Students are selling a souvenir basketball. Will the basketball fit inside the gift box that has a regular hexagonal base so that the lid fits on top? Look for relationships. If you find the base area and the volume is given, can you find the height of the box? One is to find the area of the hexagonal base. You can decompose a regular hexagon into six equal triangles. Each edge of the hexagon base is four inches. The height of the triangular base is about 3.5 inches. So we will use the formula area of the base is equal to 6 times the area of one triangle in base. A is equal to 1 6 times 1 half base times the height. We substitute 4 for the base and 3.5 for the height. And we get the area of the base, which is about 42 square inches. Step 2 is to use the volume formula to find the height. Volume is equal to base times the height. Volume is 294 cubic inches. And the area of the base is 42 square inches. Then we will divide each side by 42 to find for the height and we get 7. Since the width of the box is given at 7 inches, the height of the box is 7 inches, both the height and the width are greater than the diameter of the basketball. So the basketball will fill with the lid on top of the box. For your homework, try to answer by yourself items 4, 5, 6, and 10 in your textbook, pages 474 to 475. You can check your answer in my next video. Let's end our lesson for the day. See you in my next video.